Getting started with HTML5 charts in Jasper Reports and Jasper Studio. Jasper Reports library gives access to three types of charts. Jasper Reports charts, which are based on JFree Charts library. Flash Charts Pro, which are based on older Fusion Charts technology. And HTML5 based charts, which are powered by High Charts technology. Community Edition users will be more familiar with the Jasper Reports charts. Samples for them exist in the library distribution. In this video series, we will be talking exclusively about HTML5 charts component, which are a part of the commercial Jasper Reports offers. In this video series, we will be also talking only about how to design your charts in Jaspersoft Studio, and we won't be touching the Jasper Server ad hoc charts part. In this particular video, we will be starting with the basics. I will show you how to curate your first chart and how to run it. Let's get started. Let's start by creating a new blank report. To do this, let's go to File, New, Jasper Report, and this will bring up a new report wizard. Here, we are first prompted to select template. We don't care much about template, so let's select blank A4. Now we need to select a project where we're going to be saving the report. Let's select My Reports and give this report a different name. Let's call it Pi Sample. And let's click Next. Now we are prompted to select the data adapter for the report, aka the data source. For this uh, video series, we'll be using only the sample DB. Uh, this uh, sample DB comes with every distribution of JasperSoft Studio and there's a built-in database that you can use for your training reports, so to say. It has a few tables. One of these tables is orders. So let's do select star from orders and click next to get the list of fields. Let's add all these fields to the report and press finish because we are done with this. Now we have an empty report. Um, let's create a new chart. To create a new chart, we will need to simply drag and drop this uh, HTML5 chart component from the Components Pro section of the palette uh, to the report. We, when we are dragging, we can select what um, band the chart goes to. It is very important to pick the right report band when adding the chart element to the report. In most cases it is best to put your chart in the summary band because chart is in many ways similar to the cross tab element when it comes to processing the underlying data. Summary band is printed when the data set is, pro when the data set is processed and the aggregation is completed. We usually don't want to put the chart in the detail because we don't want to print a chart object for each record that comes from the data set. So let's put it in the summary band. After we drag and drop the chart to the summary band, uh, we will be presented with this uh, HTML5 chart edit dialog which allows us to select the chart type and configure and customize our chart. So let's start with selecting the type of chart. As you can see, there's a lot of them here. They're also categorized by type. In this uh, video, we will be starting with the simplest one. We will select the Pi. So once we select the Pi, uh, we can move on to the Data Configuration tab here. <coughs> This tab has two child tabs, data and data set. Data tab, the one that we see now, allows us to define what data we actually want to display, how do we want to categorize it, and how do we want to aggregate. The data set tab allows us to select and configure the source of data for our chart. Just like cross tab, chart can use both main report data set that is the data set returned by the queries that we specified in the report creation wizard earlier. Or a sub data set which can use a different query or even a different source of data. For now we'll be using the main report data set. Let's switch back to data tab. The look and feel of this uh, tab will be different depending on the chart type that we are using. 
Currently we're using a pie chart, so everything is here um, relevant only to pie charts. This data tab has two uh, modes. This one is a simple mode, which displays you only the uh, fields required for this chart type to function. You can also switch to advanced configuration, where you can uh, create a more sophisticated um, chart. We will keep it simple for now. We will talk about the advanced mode in our next video. So let's switch to simple configuration and talk more about what we are required to input here. Since we are uh, in using a pie chart, and as I mentioned, uh, this uh, simple mode is dependent on the type of the chart we use. We're only presented with the inputs that are required to uh, configure a pie chart. So let's talk about uh, let's talk about these inputs and what are what are they? So slice expression. This expression defines how our data will be categorized and on what criteria the slices will be formed. Currently, it's the criteria is just a static text change me. So let's uh, open the expression editor and remove this uh, change me text. And uh, in this sample chart, let's uh, categorize everything on the value of the ship country field. So every slice will be uh, related to the country from the data set. Let's double click on this. It will add this to the expression um, editor and press finish. Slice label expression. This expression defines how the slices will be labeled on the chart. We can put the same value here in the slice label expression. Value expression and aggregation function. These two are intertwined and the, the aggregation function is applied to the value expression. So here we specify uh, what we want to aggregate in the value expression and how we want to aggregate in the aggregation function. For this example, we will aggregate on freight field, which is a big decimal and um, numeric value from the database. So let's uh, remove what we had there and add double click on freight to add it here. And then press finish to close this. The aggregation function, here we can select the way this freight value will be aggregated. It can be, uh, it can be one of these functions, or it can be no aggregation at all, which is useful, for example, when the data is already uh, aggregated on the, in the database and you just want to display values. It's not the case for us, so we'll uh, select some here. Now the tooltip expression. The value of this expression will be displaced on the slice tooltip. We want to put something helpful here, uh, something different than just measure label. So let's put um, freight by country here. And then the ordering is um, the order by which the slices are uh, sorted. So we are done here now. This should be enough for our first chart. So let's press OK here. And here we have this uh, chart element. Let us remove all other bands since we don't need them. Expand this a bit. And then fit it um, into the summary band and let's try to preview this. Press preview button. Let's wait a little bit for it to render. And here we are, our first chart. So this is this is how we configured it for each um, country. We have a separate slice, and the slice represents the sum of freight for this country. There, our first chart. 
Thank you for watching this video. In this video we covered the very basics of the chart creation process. We learned how to create a new report, how to add a chart component to the report and what part of the report. We learned how to pick the chart type and learned about the chart configuration tabs. In our next video we will cover a different chart type, advanced data configuration view and we'll learn the basics of chart formatting. See you then.